Pure Games comes walking or what? Damn! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, best thing out of the podcast. What'd you learn? What learn about what yourself. We ready. Let's run it. So to the most authentic, most organic podcast, a toast to life, toast to life podcast. We are back with the real, the one and only, the real one, Ponce. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, bro. I'm a little nervous since you guys are all fucking huge. <laughs> nah, bro. You're the one repping out three plates. I see you. Trying to. It's all fake weights. Are you too? <laughs> <laughs> so let's get right into it. Let's jump into it. You are. Founder and owner of Pure Games? Yes. 100%? 100%. Damn. All right, let's talk about it. How did that come about? Um, it started. Sc- scoot over a little bit to that. All right. Yeah, yeah, we good. It started purely just like more as nothing serious, like something me and my, you know, specifically Polito right here, something we would just talk about at the gym, you know, just chop it up. It was more like a slogan we would say in the gym, like pure games, pure games, you know? Yeah. And then eventually I came more to it and thought about it like, yo, because I've always been more in the creative end where like I kind of would like to do my own thing. Mm. And this is when like Gymshark was popping off. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and at first I did like their stuff a lot, but it came to a point where I wasn't really liking their stuff mm. and I kind of wanted to do my own thing. And whether or not, whether I never saw the vision, like, as big as I see it now, but more on, like, for myself and my friends, just being our own, you know, it's, you know, repping it for myself. Because even to this day, I never see it more like, I want a thousand people to rock it. It's more like, if I'm happy with it, I can care less what everybody thinks, you know? But at mm. the end of the day, if I can rock it happily, I, I know everyone else, I'm comfortable with it, you know? So, so what's the purpose behind Pure Gains? Like, I think, you know, when you start a brand and when you're making a movement, I think apart from being a brand... It's more of a movement, right? Yeah, because definitely. you everybody that wears your stuff, it means something. Definitely. So when you put on that shirt, you know it means something. Yeah, definitely. It's more like I want it to be more as a community, not more like all right, like you have to be like a bodybuilder, you have to be like super fit to be wearing it. I just want everyone to feel comfortable because I was in a point in my life where I only did cardio in the gym. I didn't feel comfortable, you know, touching weights, and you know, I was, I was. <laughs> You're the. 30 minutes, take a picture, get out type of dude? Not even take a picture, bro. I was just 30, I was 30 minutes in the cardio and call it a day and put my hoodie on. Like, I was really to myself in a sense. Yeah. And, like, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel like I belonged in the gym in a sense. And then it wasn't until, like, I was working out for maybe a year, but just cardio. And yeah. I would just go to the gym while my homies were just all working, you know, pushing Were you heartbroken legs. when you got into the gym? No, They actually. say when you get heartbroken, you go ham in the gym. Nah, dude, I just fell in love with, like, the little gains I would get, you know? Like, little gains here and there, they would just, you, yeah. cause, you know, when you first start lifting, like, your little gains really, like, they pop off, you know? So let's talk about that transition from you just saying the slogan to you actually acting up on it. Acting, like, okay. taking, taking a step into it, like, all right, how can we get a shirt done? How can we get a hat done? How can we get a banner? Whatever it is. So if you want to start from, like, the first, first steps. I want you to know, people that are watching this right now, they either want, they really support you because they love you and they, they love who you are and, and your brand. And the, the other ones were the ones that doubted it from the beginning. How did it get to this point? How did Pure Gains continue? How long do you guys have now? Uh, probably like, what, three, three years. Three years. How did it get from just an idea thinking it was going to stop after two months, six months, a year, to now being three years long? So I want you to take us through that process. Yeah, so basically it started like, legit as a little slogan and from the start I kind of was like all right I gotta make this a cutoff because this is when I started like feeling comfortable in the gym you know so I'm like all right I gotta you know rep myself in a sense yeah so I legit I remember going to Michael's 
And I picked up some iron-on things, dude. <laughs> and I had to buy, like, ten packs just to get the words right because all of them only had, like, a few letters out of it. And uh, I went home that day, and I just started, like, messing with the letters. I remember sending them pictures, like, hey, yo, how does this shit look? You know, how does, does this look cool? Or yeah. am I fucking tripping, you know? And he was like, nah, bro, this shit looks sick, sick. So, you know, it comes down to your circle, too, because, like, if he would have told me, like, that shit's whack, you know, I probably would have, like, maybe backed off on it a little bit. But at the same time, like, I didn't give a fuck, you know. I yeah. still went with it. And uh, so I planted it on one of my favorite gym shirts was a simple black tee. And uh, I planted it on, a, you know, a shirt. I got some iron and started ironing on some shirts. Bam. And... I got myself a shirt, him a shirt, and we would just rock him at the gym. And then slowly people would ask us, like, hey, yo, we're like, where'd you get that shirt? Thanks. And I was like, oh, this is a one of one. Like, I just made it, you know? Like, literally from my, like, my room, I just got an iron and planted it on my, you know, yeah. the shirt. And uh, eventually, like, I started, you know, a lot of people started asking me about it. And I was like, oh, maybe I should, you know, maybe, like, people would like to wear it and move forward in it. And then I actually reached out to a t-shirt supplier and I was uh, not experienced in a sense. So my first shirts actually weren't what I thought they would be. So mm. I got really discouraged. Do you still have one of those? I do, actually. Because yeah. I actually never sold them or anything because I was not <laughs> happy with it. And then from the start, I'm like, I can't. Like, I'm really picky. Yeah. So if I'm not happy with it, I, I wouldn't want anyone You can't put else. it out there exactly. for somebody else to put it exactly. on. Exactly. And I bought, like, a big bundle thinking, like, oh, like, I loved it, you know? But it was nothing to what I wanted. Like, the T-shirt was, like, a whole different color. The font was, like, super off. And, yeah, it just looked really tacky. This and was at what age? Like, 20, 21. Mm. Yeah, it was, like, at the, at the start of it when I was, like, oh, maybe I should do this. And I got really discouraged because, like, at the time I was, like, I, had, I was on this train, like, oh, I got to do this, I got to do this, you yeah. know? Thanks. And you get slapped in the face, and I'm like, damn, like, this is not what I wanted. Like, I remember I would, I would still wear it at the gym thinking, like, maybe it's got a girl on me or something. But, no, nah, like, it was just not it, you know? Yeah. Like, to this day, I, I get little Snapchat memories, like, oh, this. this That's crazy, huh, when they, when they fucking pop out. Yeah. And it's like, I think they go up to four or five years now. Bro, I got this. I know I started this, like, four years ago because I actually got it recently. Yeah. And, yeah, I remember, uh, yeah, and that's when I was, like, I got really discouraged. So I kind of laid back on it for a bit because at the time, like, I did put a lot of money in it, too. So I was, like, damn, I can't just be blowing money like this, you know? You mind saying how much did you spend in that first one? Honestly, I don't, I can't even remember. It, it was probably, like, like four or 500 bucks. Like, Dang. and at the time, like, shit, I was just, like, I'm working a little part-time job. like. But that's still a lot, like, to, exactly. to invest into something that... You have no idea if it's gonna even give you a return, exactly. even you out, or get a, even a profit. Exactly. So I think that the reason why I wanted you here on, on this is because you're now three years into this. You're obviously your movement with your boys, like it ain't stopping. Yeah. Like no, you're rocking definitely. it, posting every fucking day. Definitely. You guys are rocking it in the gym every time you guys go. So there's a movement behind it. So everybody that sees you guys in the gym, it's like, yo, like I I've seen that. Definitely. I like that. Yeah. So that transition from you said you and him now building the team. I know you guys have a couple more dudes that you guys work out with that, that you post. So how is that? How do you build the team when I mean, how you said earlier, there's other people that ain't going to even believe in what you're fucking doing. Like, exactly. bro, you're going to spend 500 bucks on that. Are you serious? Exactly. So how is that? Like, take us and through that type of transition. It definitely comes down to like the people you have around you. Cause like Facts. if I would have had somebody like you said, like tell you like, yo, you just spent $500 on this shit. Like you're stupid. Like it might've changed my perspective and I might've backed off on it, you know? Yeah. But just like, even, even with, even with like the shit that I wasn't proud of, like the people that I was around, were still rocking it. We're still posting it. So that showed me that like, all right, there is potential. Like, even though I'm not happy with it, like I got to grow from it, you know, like, obviously nothing, like, you know, I started, yeah. from the, I started from the bottom, especially, like, in, started from the bottom, now we're here, exactly, <laughs> so, like, especially in clothing, like, there's a lot of, like, secrets and things you learn as you go, because, there's so the much shit, bro, <laughs> there's a lot, like, we're just finding this out, and I think we're finding it out now, where times where, shit, gas is, like, almost six bucks, exactly, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll, Oh, yeah, that's the oh. original photo shoot we have right there. He, I'm going to have to put that out there. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. 
So, like, talk about that dream. Like, shit didn't work out. It didn't work there, out. There's a choice that has to be made when it doesn't work out. Either you fucking stop right there or you fucking continue. And the problem with a lot of people in at that age, even at our age now, like, they don't want to go to the unknown. Something isn't for sure. You might not know what's going to happen, yet you just stop. Yeah, fuck it. I want to be reserved. Yeah, so I will say, like, at first I was pretty, like, backed off on it. Like, I was like, yeah. oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Like, maybe I should just, you know, focus on something else. But Spend money on the bitches. <laughs> never that, never that. <laughs> but Go to the club, pop bottles. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, you know what, maybe, like, you know, but it, like I said, it all comes down to, like, your circle. Cause it does, big time. Initially, yeah, I was, like, really discouraged because I had, like, you know, like, this high hope of it. And I saw, like, you know. I oh, we're always illusion. When you're yeah. going to start something new, even when you get your car, right? Brand new car. Definitely. You're like, hell yeah, I can't wait to fucking pull up to school, to work. Whipping. My brand new whipping. Yeah. And then insurance hits. The first payment hits. Yeah, exactly. You get oil change comes. Oil. Like, what the fuck? It runs Retired, on oil? I didn't know stuff. this. You don't, you don't think about all and that. And you guys don't <laughs> ride on cheap cars either. I've seen that. <laughs> Yeah, you know. You wait, gotta, wait, you guys ride the same car, no? No, we used to. God, dude, you're like three times my size. Like, you're fucking, <laughs> can't even fit in a small little leg. That Lexus is sick, though. The Lexus is sick, yeah, but little. my boy, you're fucking, <laughs> you're going to put that seat all the way back, my guy. He had the sunroof open, bro, with his head out. <laughs> We had to switch cars, dude. That's why we. That's why we got here a little late. We had to switch cars. You had to put him in the passenger seat, huh? You yeah, had to drive. Yeah, we switched. <laughs> I was like, "All right, dude." I think friends is a big thing. Your circle is big. Yeah, it's big because, like, without it, like, you either you either continue something or, like you said, a lot of people pursue new friends or you know. But a, the worst part is that a lot of people they don't see like the negative that they have in them, like in the yeah. circle. They'll 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 keep it for years, and I think that's why a lot of people don't grow. Cause you don't you don't notice things and it's ah. it's it's that feeling of being uncomfortable you know because like even this right here for me like it's something I I've never <laughs> done I know I know you were pushy on it for oh, a while I think we've been I've been messaging you what is it like three four months already yeah <laughs> hey bro you free this Sunday nah bro nah nah and then finally it happened yeah because uh, honestly in we recently obviously with everything happening we we're changing a little bit trying to add new stuff and it's more of a giving the flowers to the people that have done it and are doing it right now because coming from the city right you're ball and park yep ball and park coming from ball and park hometown and it's like yo it's either you end up in one specific thing which is a dead end job hating your job talking shit about your job every day or you stay at home doing nothing with just dreams and aspirations that are never going to happen. And then there's that third option. Do it. Do it. No matter what happens, no matter what's the repercussions, no matter what, what the result is, go and do it. Because at the end of the day, that is, uh, you can get up every day and go to sleep every day and be like, yo, it's me. Exactly. I'm living my own life the way I want it to do. So it's like, you got to give yourself those flowers that you created a movement and with everybody around you, the movement is just going. Yeah, like, I try to, like, enforce that on everybody around me, too. Like, whether it's, it's fitness, whether it's music, whether, you know, whatever it is, like, I talk to him all the time. Like, just do it, dude. Like, because if, yeah. I, if I can go back in time, like, I would have just done this a, a long time ago, you know? Because yeah. it, it's always, like, we think about things a lot, but we don't do it, you know? And it's, that's what it came down to. Because I think we have a lot of, there's a lot of friends, and... This is for anybody listening in. If you haven't subscribed uh, to the channel, to the podcast, um, there's a lot of people that have friends that when they throw an idea, they shoot it down. Nah, they, what the fuck? You, why are you going to do that? Why are you going to waste your money on that? Or why are you going to waste your... I do, ah, let, or even as simple as going to the gym. Dude, let's go to the gym. Fool, let's go eat. Yeah, yeah Let's go exactly. drink. Ah, everybody's coming over. Let's go do this. There's a choice. I mean, I've done it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody has done it at one point. Definitely. But there is a big choice that everybody has to make when there's other things in, in place. It's either go to the gym and get better or go and waste money and, you know, drink. I mean, it's cool. Go have fun. But there's big choices. Exactly. There's limits to everything. Especially like, when, you have, when you have a brand. 
when you have a movement, that means when you're in a pedestal, everybody is watching you until you make that mistake. Yeah, and that's the worst part, like, because there's a lot of pressure, you know? Like, you, th- you think about it a lot, like, every single time you, you drop something, like, people are, like, you either, they're either going to love it or hate it, you know? But at the end of the day, as long as, like, I love it, I'm okay with it. Cause exactly. That, that's how I see it at the end of the day, because you can't please everybody, but as long as you're, like, happy with what you did, because, you know, especially, like, in clothing and stuff, like, you see a lot of things coming out, and a lot of people are just trying to, like, money hungry, you know? At yeah. the end of the day, like, I don't see it as that. Like, it's never really uh, all about that at the end of the day. Like, I'm just happy with people rocking my stuff, you know, because that's, that's what I see, like, changing it. Because as long as you're comfortable wearing it, like, because I'd be running to people wearing the gym, in the gym sometimes wearing my stuff. Like, I have no, like, I've never met them in my life. And that's what, like, makes me, because now it's like, or I'm, I got, like, a community, you know? Yeah. Someone that feels comfortable wearing my stuff. Do people know you're the... The head of the head I'm very of the I'm very low key about it because I don't want people to like or hate it because of me. Like I don't uh, want someone to like it, like oh, because like I'm cool with you, or hate it because they hate me. I want it to stand on its own in a sense, mm. but I, I do like obviously like I am the man behind it. Why you hate it a lot? Uh, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what sucks about coming from. Uh, I mean, no shots to anybody in our community, but when you come out of a high school, like everybody that was once your friend. Is the people that are wishing wishing down that you don't do something. Yeah, definitely. And then when you do something, like, ah, oh, that was fucking, that would change. And we, uh, me, and, me and my team, like, we, we talked about this. It's like, yo, like, when you're, when someone tells you, like, yo, you changed, like, what the fuck? It's like, dude, I had to. <laughs> I if, really if, had to. If I didn't, like, there's something wrong. Like, that's how I see it. Like, because yeah. changing is growing. That's how I, like, if I'm, like, if every drop was, like, the same, like, I'm not growing. Like, yeah. I try to switch it up. I try to make everything better than the last. Like, if it's not better, then it's not growing. Yeah. And I, it's not like, it's basically with everything, though, because there's a lot of things in life that, like, you know, people are okay with the bare minimum. And I've seen that, like, everywhere, you know? Have you, do you think you had a transition from settling to now wanting more? Yeah, definitely, because, like, initially, like, he knew, like, I went out a lot. I spent a lot of, like, stupid money. Come on, we gotta, we gotta hear you, big guy. <laughs> I know you want to be close to me, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like it, it's just like a lot of transitioning to like going out a lot to like, all right, you know, I have this, I have this big, you know, event coming up, and you know, I gotta like focus on this, and it means like not going out a lot or just chilling or eating at home, and it's just yeah. finding things like that because when you're when you change up your basically like your your life in a sense like yeah. everything changes Ooh. like Every, everything. everything and everyone exactly everyone in coming through everybody around you there's people that are going to stay on there's people that are going to fall off exactly that's the biggest thing mm-hmm. and literally um if you whoever buys the shirts that we get like I'm sending a message one of the things that I sent out was uh it's a quote from Kevin Gates and he says um too many snakes in the grass, you're like, you got to cut it. So I just rephrase it, but uh, go cut your grass so you can see the snakes in there. Because there's a lot of people that might be in that circle that at the end of the day, when you turn around, they don't wish, they don't have the best wishes for you. They don't. They just want to, they just want a piece of your, you know, your gains in a sense, you know? It, not trying to get into more detail or because I know sometimes it's a sensitive subject, but did you have to cut certain people out of this movement? And if you did, like, why was that? Like, what was, what was the reason? It's not more like I cut anybody off. It's more like I've distanced myself. Mm. And uh, I see it more like, if anything, I've been cut because of some of the things I've changed in my life. Yeah. But I don't see myself, I don't have, like, cut ends with anybody. I see it more like, at the end of the day, like, I did me and I'm, I'm cool. I don't have no beef with anybody. Yeah. But... I don't know how they, I don't know how people feel about me, you know, but as long as I'm cool with how I left terms with everybody, I'm, I live my day, you know? Yeah. That's how I see things. There was a, who did I, I, I asked this, I asked this to somebody the other day and it's, it comes from Nipsey Hussle. He said, would you rather be at peace with yourself in a war with the world or a war with the world and peace with yourself? Always peace with yourself. Ooh. Always. Because at that? the end of the day, like people are going to hate regardless, so. If you try to satisfy the whole world, like, you'll never be at peace with yourself. 
Facts. What what was now getting transitioning into a little bit more? You growing up, were you always this type of person that wanted more confident and moving this way, or was like what was that turning point in your life that, yo, I need to switch this up? Uh, so I'm very like I mentioned to myself in a sense like. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have no idea I'm I'm the one behind this. Like a few people, like for example, until now, until now, for, yeah, for, <laughs> until now, for an example, until now, hell yeah, we gotta <laughs> gotta do it, bro, hell yeah, you, you gotta. I've always anybody that's starting something like I always gotta tell them, and I told Adam from Hinder Strength, yo, you gotta give yourself that pat in the back at one point, because like yo, without you doing this, there's a lot of people that wouldn't be in a safe place, it's and true. with you, it's like. Without you doing this, your team wouldn't be built, and people wearing it wouldn't feel good wearing it. That's true. Yeah, shout out Adam. We got some things cooking up soon. Yeah, so. shout out Adam. We'll be there later, getting yeah. the lift in. Hey, me too, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. What is, what, what's this maybe? What is this maybe? All right, all right. Look, you got to put the GPS and just put hidden straight. It'll it take you straight there. HS. HS. I mean, but if you guys are going, then we might not go. Uh, I, might, I might have to put on my 3X hoodie, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know giving yourself those flowers like when when was that transition from you you being self to yourself like when was this um i would say like the brand was something that really changed perspective in that because like without having to like something to you know invest in like you kind of not sure what to waste your money in, you know? Yeah. Because often, like, sometimes we get paid and we just have, like, this urge to spend money, you know? Get paid a 1000 go spend 900 Exactly. So it's just, like, all right, with this now, like, you have, like, a purpose to, you know, preserve and, yeah. all right, I got this, I got this coming up. But without that, you're just, like, basically, like, going with your day. You're, like, you're not sure what's next, you know? So at the end of the day, like, and I see that, like, everywhere, like, you know, a lot of my coworkers, like, they're, they're cool with, like, just – you know, spending their whole day at work or living, you know, so you're just, like, not sure, like, what's next or yeah. work his life. And that's cool and all, but are think, you happy? <laughs> I think that that tough part is listening to the problems and the complaints without hearing a solution. And it's like, yo, I'm a, I'm a great listener. I can hear you out. But within the first three, four minutes, I need to hear a solution. How can you change that fucking outcome? How can you change your position? If it, if you can, if you can't, fuck it. It is what it is. Just go through the motion, get out of it, move on from it. But if you can change it, if it's in the fucking palm of your hand, change it. Yeah. And I think it's just like a lot of people are just like afraid to get uncomfortable because I can speak for myself. Like a lot of like people I've met specifically for the brand and reaching out to people, it, it's like it's uncomfortable because you're not sure how what they're going to how they're going to feel about it or what yeah. they're what they think about the brand or what they think about you. So I think that's part of why I've been also, like, really on the low about me being, you know, the man behind everything. Because I don't want people to judge it, like I said, like, hate it or love it because of me. I want them to love it because of what it is. So do you think putting yourself on, on that platform, giving yourself that platform, it would in help inspire other people that are in your same position at one point? Well, definitely. I think, like, right now I'm in a position where... Like I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So that's why I'm actually doing this right now. And uh, I appreciate you. So I think that's something like you know, I always tell like legit everybody around me like you got something, chase it, do it. Because yeah. like legit, you don't lose anything. It's it's either gonna happen or it's not. You know. So what would be that that piece of advice for someone that used to be in your shoes before you started this movement? Like Just, they come and they ask you like, hey Ponce, like I'm struggling with this, like. What, how can I? Like in what, like starting a business or what, starting what? Getting out of that comfort zone. I just do it. Just do it. Mm. Yeah, just do it. Don't, don't question it. If, if you need, like, if you're, like, you know, for example, like this right here, I have, like, two people that I'm close with just to support me, you know? Yeah. To make me feel more comfortable. Like, have somebody close to you and protect them, you know? Because yeah. then it makes everything else easier. Talking about that group, that group of Damn. Yeah, make sure, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, make sure that whoever is near you is protected. So, because I have you on here, and you're how old? I'm 23. 23. Transitioning from high school to real life, or life after high school, it's tough. 
Yeah, definitely. It's tough for some people, right? And school, I think work. school, work, friends, being liked by everybody and known by everybody to not talking to those same motherfuckers for the next 10 years yeah. until you run run to them in in and out and shit like that. Yep. I think that's the spot. Everybody runs to each other either at in and out or I mean, I mean now Canes, but it's like, oh, dude, we should go get a workout together. It's like, nah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we, ain't gonna, we, ain't gonna, we ain't about to do that. You know it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. <laughs> so transitioning from high school, like, those lose having a big yeah. amount of friends to lo- to just having a couple. Yeah, it's crazy because like in high school I did have a, a really big group of friends. You were the you cool know? kid. <laughs> I don't know about all that. You know, he was a cool kid. He was a cool kid, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Really? I didn't. I, didn't I, I just we kept it cool, you know. Let, like, let me tell you something. Me and this fool, he said it like a couple weeks ago. And stated it to everybody in our group. I didn't like this motherfucker. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. That means that y'all have grown, you know? Like, things are different, you know? He became uh, one of, he became my assistant coach. Oh, wow. Literally, be, his dad, I'm really close with his dad. And he was like, oh, you should give that other job to, to him. And I was like, ah, he's a fucking kid, bro. Like, I don't know if he's. Damn. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's run it. Let's try it out. And, yeah, that, what, did, what did I tell you? Like, four years now? Yeah, like four years. So it's just like, that's crazy. Now that you're saying, I was like, oh, I yeah. know, I know the same one of the same motherfuckers. Exactly. Yeah, I just pass by him every day, type. With shit, like a like. big group too, huh? He's it, him and the him and the friend and everybody behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how to talk about how your team came about? I think that that's a. Quick, a quick little brief, like how how did that team came about? How did how did this? It's, it's more just like natural, you know, like organic. It, it wasn't ever like reach out to you, you know, like all right, you know, like let's be friends type shit. You know, it was don't, more like it was just like organic. Don't panic, it's organic. Yeah, it was more like you know, especially for him, you know, I met him through. I worked out with him due to another friend, mm-hmm. and basically. We ended up just working out. That's it. We were the only ones. It was a it was a little group of us working out, and it, it ended out just being me and him at the end, because everybody else like I don't know got busy and stopped working out. Yeah, and people. It's a big choice. I think it's a big choice when, um, when it's the gym involved, and even at the beginning, like, all right, hey, we didn't go today, but yo, we got to go out at this time. And I remember because, uh, my friends that I that I had at that time, and still I do right now, when we started. It was like, all right, it's Friday. I don't got shit to do. I ain't got no job. <laughs> now we're like, yo, like, we got to get in at 9, 10 p.m. We got in at 9, 10 p.m. We got it done to, like, 1 a.m. So now it's like, all right, we, we built this relationship that we're fucking close. Like, I think when you get to work out with people, you get to know them differently. Definitely. You get like, to know who they really are, what they're about. And it's like a... How do you call it? It's, it's more like of, a bond, you know? Yeah. Like, it's a different kind of bond, it's though. It's like a fucking therapy session. It is. I'm not going like, to lie. Like, fool, my, my girlfriend, fuck, I'm triste, dude. Going she through broke it, not going through it, you know? <laughs> you be pushing weight, you know? You be lit. It's like, fuck, man. Yeah. But it, it builds that bond. It and definitely. I, I think that that's like how me and, me and Dylan got close because we were coaching six days out of the week. Okay. Fucking 5 p.m. to 8, 8.30 p.m. Saturdays. Saturdays five five thirty in the morning to eight in the morning. I get fucking foggy, bro. And I I have posted it before. It was like stupid foggy. Can't see nothing. Kick a ball in there. You can't even see where it went. And I'm just like with with my bang in hand, I'm like, woo, we ready to fucking rush. So now like the movement that you guys got going on, it's beyond the it started because of the friendship and, and it just ev- evolved from there, right? Yeah, I evolved in like Kind of like how you said, it's more like a, it's a different kind of relationship that I have with a lot of the guys. Yeah. Because it's, it's not like just, you know, meeting at a coffee shop and chopping it up. It's more like when you're working out, like, I don't know, the connection you have with somebody, you know, it's kind of, it's different. It's deeper when you work out with somebody. It's not just like quietness, you know, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's that brotherhood. Like, yeah, it's really different. It's, it's literally like one of the, I think one of the best things to put it is like, you got to be there to understand it. Exactly. You have to be there to understand really what we talk about, how we are, and what we do. So, yeah, because as you get older, like, I don't know, like, I see the gym like it's 
kind of like going out, you know, in a sense. Like, it's not like... It's a bar. Exactly, in a sense. It's not... Literally. Yeah, it's it's different. Maturity. Exactly. It's not like... Well, it sounds like Rick Ross. I'm a deep ass. You got to better yourself out there. I ain't forcing that shit right now, bro. <laughs> what time was it, dude? Where we at? Damn, 29. All right, first one. Let's go. We're good. All right, we're rolling. So as you guys seen, we added a third person. The third person, can you introduce yourself for the ones that don't know you yet and for the ones that do know you? Uh, my name is Carlos Polito. Came from uh, born and raised in Ballin Park. CP Fit. <laughs> CP Fit. Yeah, if you haven't followed him, you got to go follow him. He's like a mini Rick Ross. Tap in. Did you get your cup? You didn't even get a cup. I didn't, I didn't know I didn't get invited. What do you mean? That's my broken cup, man. Polito, do you have one? That, that is his cup. Uh, Dylan, can you pass another cup? Polito has said it like, oh, we need a shot. My guy, say less. All right, bam. All right, let's get it. Bam. Do you want one yourself? Hey, get over here, everybody. A real quick one. You sure? Nah, 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 Come on, big guy. Everybody. Come on. Everybody. Don't hoot you, dude. Everybody. <laughs> nah, this is Lobos. This is Lobos. Lobos, LeBron James out there. Come on, LeBron James. <laughs> all right, are y'all, y'all gonna join this or what? You can just just hop into the camera. In That's here. right. Oh, yeah. The camera's already on. We're already on. on. Come on, just hop Every, in real quick. We're just taking a toast. Everybody. There it is. A toast. toast. <laughs> there it is. All right, not everybody get the fuck out. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So reason why. Carlos is on this now. It's because, man, you're shining a lot of light on, on your boy right here. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. From the beginning, you get you started it. You had him as your reinforcement. So now let me get, you know, a little, we're going to get a little deeper. Right. Can you start a business being in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. Ooh. Why you feel you, you can't? No, I'm asking you guys. Oh yeah, definitely. Tell if, if if saying yes, all right. Tell us why. If your partner don't support you in what you do from the beginning and what you want to do and what you want to strive, pick up. Come on, Carlos. Hey, Not yeah. bad, dude. <laughs> so if your partner doesn't, you know, if if you have if you get into a relationship or you are in a relationship and they don't push you to reach your goal, yeah. Why are you in a relationship? Like why why are you gonna settle for someone that doesn't support you? And when, there, when knowingly you have someone out there, or there is someone out there, who is going to support you from the day of? Yeah. Why settle for less when you could settle for more? Oh. Golly. Yeah, I don't see, like, what's the, what's the, because I, I know a lot of people, like, see it, like, all right, like, when you're in grind mode, like, solo mode. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, the, you can go either way. Like, it really comes down to who you got next. You can, rea- in reality, like, it's also, like, because you're also making it sound like, if if you have a business, you can't have friends. In the sense. It's kind of like how I, you know, it yeah. works out. Real, it's, it basically goes down to, like, who you have around you. If your partner's supportive, you're going to strive regardless. If your friends are supportive, you're going to strive regardless. But do you think there's that difference? So the reason why I, I throw this question now, and not just because it's a, to bring up uh, any, anything else, it's because in reality, there's a lot of people that if how you got, what you guys said is true. If your partner isn't in, as invested as you, then it's going to go a different way. But think about it in the sense where you started your brand, you started your business, and in between, your partner is not as invested as you, Isn't doesn't believe in the vision as you, doesn't see what has to really happen in order for it to take off. Why is that your partner? Then that she's not part of the vision then. But if you've been with her for two years, cut it off? Cut it off, dude. Eventually, yeah. Because, I mean, I can speak because I'm in a relationship. Oh, so Please, I, please speak. So obviously, like... That plays a big part, you know? Yeah. Because, like, if, exactly like he said, your partner's not supportive with you. Like, it's like an anchor, dude. It's like exactly. An anchor it's, an anchor. Anchor. it's an anchor. It's an anchor. It's an anchor. yourself little by little. Mm. And I think a lot of people are in those shoes where they have the wrong. Both of you partner. ain't even using the microphone, big guys. Come Sorry, on, dude. man. <laughs> I know you guys used like, to it. Give me some uh, duct tape, I'm bro. I'll put it right here. Because <laughs> I feel like a lot of people like you said, do have that issue, like their partner isn't supportive or yeah. their friends aren't supportive. And uh, 
they they believe that you know all right like your partner says like hey you know i don't think it's smart to do this or that you believe it rather than you know believing in yeah. yourself and the same same concept goes on with your friends but in, but I are mean, those really your friends exactly but if you throw this scenario out there right cuz that's a, that's the problem with a lot of people they're afraid to move on they're afraid to really cut ties boyfriend or girlfriend Friends or no friends, they're really afraid to cut ties. Afraid from change. They are. They're afraid from change. They're being uncomfortable, basically. They're getting out of their comfort zone. Yep. They're so used to people surrounded by only one circle, and that's what they believe in, and that's it, and they don't want to leave. Yep. Yeah. That's what. That's why a lot of people have, or a lot of people struggle in that aspect. You're 23, too? I'm 23. I'll be 24 in May. Happy early birthday, big guy. April, that, right that. Let's have, almost, almost there. I'm not even going to say mine because mine's too far. <laughs> you guys are talking like you guys been through some shit. Like, you know, you're talking to like, I'm 26. You're talking to, you're talking like you've been 25, 26, 27 already. Like you've been through some shit. What is that? What have you guys been through that now made you realize, yo, this is, this is the way you got to look at life. Instead, like, honestly, you know, we're going to get into detail because, hey, go ahead, yeah. you know, this, yeah, this yeah. is... The reason why this podcast is, is authentic and organic is because nothing gets caught out. Like, this is who we are on here is who we are outside. Yeah. It's transitions. Who I knew you before. It's not the same you. You had to transition. You had to elevate. You had to go with what was around you. And if you didn't like it, you moved on. So we talk from experience. Let's talk about experiences. Come on, Ponce. You got something to say, Ponce. Go oh. star. Don't be shy, Bubba. He needs another shot. <laughs> okay. Who's driving? Do you need no oh, one? What? Do you know when you get talking? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Yeah, Come good. on. All right. So, what do you mean by like experiences? Like, yes. Experiences. How? Why? Why do you talk like you, like you've been through some shit? What was some shit that you had to go through that changed you? Really fucking changed you. It could be a heartbreak. It could be family. It could be whatever it is. I guess, like, when you realize, like, how down bad you are, like, with, like, your lifestyle. Yeah. And um, you start realizing that, like, damn, like, what was I doing, you know? Like, it kind of, like, humbles you and kind of, like, puts things into perspective because, like I said, for, like, a long time, I was just, like, going out, you know, drinking, like, doing really stupid shit. Like, every what, was, what was the stupidest shit you ever said? Said? Oh, I don't done. Know. Done. Stupidest shit you've ever done. It's all right, bro. We we talk from experiences. You can't be shy about who you are. It's because yeah, I got a really bad memory. Bro. Because of who you. You want me to pull the video? Or? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you this. Because of what you did and who you were before, it made you into who you are now. So you, we can't be ashamed of who we were before. Straight up. Uh, I guess, like, I don't know. I drank a lot. Like, a lot. You know? Like, my yeah. tolerance was super high. And I was just, like, going Bottle out. Ciroc, bro. Yeah, I was Bottle just. Bottle Ciroc. Ciroc. Yeah, Ciroc like, was to the, the shit dome. back then. Twist. Straight one to me, bro, by myself. You're like a Steve will do it. Yeah, basically. God. He wouldn't even share. I I, I, I ask him, like, let me get a lick. Nah. Nah, bro, that's mine. You know? So, like, it, and then, yeah, basically, I just drink a lot. But was was that some type of, like, um, statement to be like, yeah, I'm cool? Were you going through some shit and you, you put it on with alcohol? Or what, like, what was that? Or is this, like, you in the moment? That was just me in the moment, bro. Like, mm. I didn't even notice it. Like, I, I thought, like, I was completely okay. Like, I would black out, like, every weekend, and then, like, I would go back to work, like, the following day. Like, <laughs> nothing, nothing ever happened. Huh? Nothing ever <laughs> like, happened. nothing ever happened. So, yeah. it's, like, and at that time, like, I didn't think nothing of it. Like, there was days I'd go into work with, like, scratches on my face. Like, I'd fall on my face, you know, and I did not see nothing bad about it. Like, I would, I legit, legit thought, like, all right, you know, I was just having a good time. But there's limits. I, there's limits. I, I witnessed that shit. <laughs> what, was he there the whole time? Were you guys already close at that point? Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time. During my craziest times, no. No. Yeah, no. It was like towards the end where That's when you were in college and shit, huh? Yeah. You, were going to the college you still go to college? No, I just graduated. That's fucking right. Hell yeah. Got you. <laughs> you. You did something that a lot of us at one point strive to do. That's go to college and, f- and actually finish it. Go to college, everybody can go to. Yeah, definitely. But finish it, 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 there's a different point. But to finish off where we were, 
both of you guys are talking again. You guys are talking from experience. You went through that phase. What was that phase that you had to go through to really transition? Um, it's so, okay to cry uh, on here too. Nah, you know, huh? just, I don't want to tell you. It's okay to cry on here. Nah, I got teary eyes. <laughs> no, nah, um, so I mean, living from my uh, experience, like my brother, he had cancer. He had, uh, you know, learning from him. Basically, he, you know, he's a cop now, and that always strived me to do better. You know, from coming from where I'm coming from, yeah. and that's not only that. I mean, there was other shit going on in my in my life. But that was, like, the main thing that stuck out to me. So I wanted to do better for myself. And seeing him doing, you know, he was going through, like, college and doing this fire class in, in Mont Sac. He was doing it with one lung the whole time. He didn't even know. Jesus. And um, seeing that, that just motivates me. Like, that, that, that was what motivated me to, be, to pursue what I wanted to do, which yeah. is apply for LAPD. And that's what I was doing. So I was doing that through from, you know, as a uh, early age, as of uh, 20 and a half, that's how I was starting. I was just applying to different agencies, and that's what I was doing. And then, um, so my process for LAPD, that's what I was doing. I got up to my last stage, and then that's when they cut funds for everybody, for everybody, uh, for everybody in uh, LAPD. Ooh. So they cut funds, and they basically withdrew everybody's process, and you, you have to basically reapply from start from scratch. I was on my last step. I would have been a cop right now. Dang. But... Things change, things happen. God's plan. Hey, everything God's happens plan. for a reason. God's yeah. plan. Everything happens everything. for a reason. That's what, that was what I was about to say. Like, you guys feel like things that were not meant to be in your life are taken out from your life? Basically. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, like, whatever's meant, like, this happening right now is, like, meant to happen. Everything happening to. is, like, everything's planned in a sense. It's just so you don't know it. You know, it, it <clears throat> things that are in our control, you know, are meant to happen. The outcome of it is just what is gonna happen, no matter what happen, like no matter what it is, like for for you, like you was talking about your brother like that, everything you saw, you know, the process you went through, is was that just like in the back of your head, like all right, I can't give up. Basically, I mean, that was that was my free pre workout. That's what I like to call it. Were you free were you like workout. devastated when that shit fell back fall through? I would fucking I would I remember when I first found out when my brother had cancer, I was in wrestling practice. Fucking broke down in tears. I would hit it like midway, like a couple of weeks later, months later. Yeah. Down randomly, like just in the yeah. back. Just fucking cried to my coach. Like I was like fucking devastated. Yeah. That shit hit. It's tough. It's, it, oh, it is tough, bro. It's it's a different it's a different feeling. Like it's I don't I mean I don't never wish anybody any bad upon anybody, but like the shit you go through when someone when you find out that someone has cancer, it's it's a different feeling, man. It's facts. I, it's a it different. Did, it hurts when the person you love the most or one of the people you love the most is going through something that you really can't help. Exactly. Can't really, can't you know, much. can't do much. Helpless, you know. Help, yeah, exactly. But I feel like with when that shit happens, it's upon you to do better for you to be able to take care of them. Oh yeah. So you got to strive for better. During that and, during that time, I was in uh, I was at a wrestling tournament. Took first that place. First, first, I took first place that, that that whole tournament out of like five five people. Yeah. Look in the stands. No one was in there. Look again. My brother was there. Brother who had a cancer. That was my fucking. That was like. That was my. That was my motivation right there. I gotta get that one. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. You got it. Were you there? My my parents were calling me. They're like, "Oh, where's Junior? We know where, that's where we call him." Yeah. Junior. Um, where's he at? Where's he at? We look in the stands. He's just right there watching me. Fuck, that's fucking crazy. But you know that those are experiences that not many know. Yeah, yep. nobody knows. He doesn't even know. I, I just knows. found this out. Not, right now. Er, not everybody gonna know. Yeah, not everybody knows. <laughs> not everybody <laughs> knows. So now shifting gears, going through everything you guys went through, going business now and everything. How do you handle what uh, success? Does it change you in a positive way? Does money make you different? Like, how do you guys feel about that? Stay because humble. Ooh. Stay humble. Ten toes down. Stay humble. Stay humble, like, but also at the same time, like, Keep speak better. for myself, like, I'm never satisfied. Yeah. Like, I always want, like, you know, you do better, yeah. be more, you know, improve. Stay humble, but be more. Yeah, not even Stay just, like, business-wise, just, like, personal-wise, like, never satisfied. Like, always trying to do better, grow. Yeah. Yeah. Find new ways, you know. Ah, cheers <laughs> to that, dude. Cheers to that. That's oh, best. I don't. Damn, I don't got one. I don't got one. Dylan, Dylan. I'm not. It's all right, Dylan. I'm going to do this. Don't worry <laughs> about it, Dylan. Don't worry about it. Cheers to that. 
We gotta we gotta toast to that one. Toast to that one. Come on. Oh oh. oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I guess we got that. Really we, we got that one on there. <laughs> All right, but you know, and this goes back to like the the flowers, man. Giving you guys the flowers for continuing and doing your thing, pushing forward, striving for more, not giving up. You know, everything you guys went through at one point in your life when you guys were younger, you guys fucking succeeded. You guys moved on from it. You guys didn't like you. Do, you guys didn't let that be your result. I think from where we come from, you know, shout out Baldwin Park. Yeah. Put it, put our city on the map. Oh, That's yes, who we sir. are. That's where we're from. Yeah. With that toast, man. Toast. toast. Come on. Golly. Golly. I'm gonna be I'm not gonna lie, bro. You're feeling it? No, nah, not at all. Sounds I'm ready to go. Hey, you, hey, you're gonna you're gonna still see me uh squat over there four or five deadlift six plates. Right behind you. We'll do it right now. I, you know what? So, the the thing why I'm I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep saying we're going to the gym is because someone sitting on the other side of this, right there. If we don't go to the gym when she's meant to go to the gym, yo, she's stressing. Oh shit. <laughs> she's stressing. It's so like that, right? <laughs> like we're we'll be eating midway. Damn man, I gotta find a gym that's open at this time because I gotta go. <laughs> Truth or not? Yeah. <laughs> Check out, check out Fitness Mania, 24 hours. Fitness Mania, Riverside. It's like all day. 40 like minutes literally. away, though. I mean, hey, but it's a 24. <laughs> but, it, hey, but it's a 24. <laughs> but it's a 20. Writing this on her notes. Like, hey, but no, it's a 24 hour Definitely gym. not on her notes because she lives in San Fernando. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they don't worry about gas mileage, they drive wherever. <laughs> So we talked about about relationships. We talked about friendships. We talked about everything, you know, business advice, life advice. What's what's a key phrase? Key, you can say a saying. You can say a word that you live by, from wherever you went through till right now that keeps you going. That you remember every fucking day. It is what it is, and ain't what it ain't. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. If, hey, my, hey, my next Instagram post. If, Instagram if, caption, if, if you my see that, if you see post. that on my next T-shirt, <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah, it is, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't, man. God damn! How'd you, you come? Go. How'd you come about that? I'm a dumb. I mean, literally, you know I, mean? <laughs> I was you just spinning. Just go, hey, man, you just gotta go through some shit to come up with that, man. Straight up, I'm like you gotta, you gotta go through a lot in order to be accept whatever it is that's coming towards you. You feel at one point you weren't accepted? Yeah. Straight up. Mm. Straight up. I mean, you see me grow since high school, dude. You're my coach. You Got were me. my coach. Fuck. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> what, what, you? Yeah, what does that mean, bro? Godly? Yeah. I don't know, bro. You I, listen, me on. I listen to a lot of uh, country music. <laughs> and me too. And me too. What's I listen up? to a lot. If you guys want to invite me to a Luke Combs concert or nah, King Brown, I'm here, April, April 2nd. He invites Run me it. every time. I'm never down, though. Damn. Pure Gains and Toast to Life at a concert. Shit. You better go. <laughs> I might have to now. <laughs> He's like, damn. Hey, but you got your shit kickers on or no? Ooh, I got, oh, I got my boots, bro. I got three pairs. What's up? Run it. I'm not that rich. I got, one. I got one. I got one good pair that still lasts me good. But I got a going out pair, working pair, and chill at home pair. We're done with the bar guy. <laughs> I'm going to walk away right now. So... Transitioning to you, Miss Mr. Shy Guy, Mr. I don't want to get the light to me. What's that phrase? What, what's that word that you live by every day? Uh, invest in yourself. Always. Like, you know, I always wear my own shit, you know. Like, invest. You know, I'm proud of what I do, you know. Because you see a lot of, you know, other brands. People support them. I'm, I'm, I support a bunch of brands, too. You know, I'm super yeah. supportive with small businesses and things of that sense. Because I, I still see myself as a small business, you know. So I'm I'm always I'm super big on investing yourself and I advocate that on a lot of people. Like find something and invest in you. Find something, invest in you. Whatever comes after that, doesn't matter? Doesn't matter, bro. Because you see a lot of people like have nothing against like a nine to five job, but you're investing in them. You're putting all that time when you can do that in yourself. Let me hit let me let me, let me now take you guys sideways. Talking to a uh, 15 year old you this is like freshman year bro talking to a 15 year old you to now i'm gonna tell you 
Right, right now, I wasn't this motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> I was I not. Sure I was. I wasn't either. I was trying to fit in so hard. Oh, and so even cool. after high school, I was still trying to fit in. Everybody was, bro. So talking to a 15-year-old you, what will you tell them? Invest in yourself. <laughs> Invest in yourself. Invest for the future. Yeah, look really up, just think, like look tunnel up, vision. Look up, to older, look up to older people mm. and go off of that. I think that's crazy because uh, there's other people that we've had on the podcast that their friend group, they're older. People that really had an impact on them, they're older. Yeah, it's true. Let me ask you this. What, what's the phrase you live by every day? Yep. Honestly, damn. Now, what got you? What got you to start a podcast? What oh, got you man. to start and what this? What do you motivate? What do you tell other people? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> hey, this is our podcast. <laughs> right, retransition. This is Pure Games podcast. We hitting it right now. Uh shit! A phrase that I live by. Yeah. And what phrase, do you t- what's the phrase you live by? What got you motivated to start interviewing and what, and what yeah. you start this podcast? Right? And what do you advise other people to do? Like honestly, have this vision. Honestly, like the the phrase is kind of kind of how he said it. What's meant to be, what's meant to be, because literally, I think I fought so much to for things that were gonna be either way, and I fought so hard and so much for it to not be. In reality, it was always gonna be that. It it was in the books. You know, one of my friends at that time uh, told me, like, yo, your book is already written. You're just living through the chapters. Yeah. Um, that hit me. I'm like, damn, that's true. You know, we're not friends anymore. It is what it is. But, you know, I always wish good on him. Of course. But the reason why this podcast came about is because, fuck, we were having too many good conversations. When, too many good. And, and it became a toast to life because, yo, when we started the podcast at, at my apartment in West Covina, we would remember. fucking get fucked up, bro. We would get I remember hammered. Paco, I remember. I seen the I seen the party with you and Paco. Dude. Paco, Jose was on it. Dylan was on it. You know, Cindy was on there too. And it's crazy because the people that I'm sitting with at the table were all part. Like they were all guests on the podcast. Now they're a part of the movement, right? You know, because of, because of them, the movement is here. Yeah. But really, it was, and I tell everybody, it's like, yo, like think about when you're out with your homies, out with your friends. You're drinking. It is what it is. And then you have one one moment to the side with one of your close friends, and you really get a deep conversation in. And it goes for thirty minutes, and they're telling you like, "Yo, we gotta go. Hold on, fool. Hold on." And you're just going on this conversation. And then once you're done, bro. Once you're done, my thing is, you didn't even record this so you can listen to this later when you really need it. Right now, you just spoke your fucking mind. Tomorrow, you might need to listen again to yourself to reinforce what you're doing at that time. So I'm like, yo, you know what? We got to put this shit on camera. We got to record this. And everybody's like, no, nah, I'm not good with the camera. Yo, it's us talking. Me and you talking. It's just something there for, you know, Paco was a whole, this is a year ago. Paco was a year ago. Yep, I remember that. I, I could still listen. My I could still listen to the fucking podcast right now if I wanted to. And I can hear everything we just said at that time. Mm. Why? Because it's like. Now it's valid. Now it's still there. I remember you f- when you first posted it on your Instagram. I would watch the whole thing. It's yeah. crazy, bro. And and the whole thing is not everybody's going to believe in your vision more than you. Yeah. And at first I was like, that's, you know, it's cool. One of my good friends, Kuko, asked me like, yo, man, sometimes I get mad because you don't get the views. I'm like, yo, I'm not chasing the views. I'm chasing, I'm chasing my dream. Oof. Movement. I'm chasing my movement. Oof. Yeah. God. If I change one person's life, that was a movement. Exactly. If yeah, I change a hundred exactly. people's life, that's, that's still the movement. movement. Regardless, one or a hundred, it's still a movement. We're a year that's and that's just how he is. That's just how he is. He doesn't change. You're three money. years into this. We're Birdie a year and a month into this. Right? A year and a month into this. And it took me a, um, almost a full year to create the team. Literally, well, once we moved to LA, Dylan came on, Sydney came on, you know, I Spoke out to them. They said yes. Aubrey is here because she was on the podcast. As soon as she left, I was like, yo, she's going to be on this. That's right. We're going we're we're to create something. Yeah. So how Creative. long were you thinking about this before it came to be? Honestly, it was like six months. six months. Six months. So it was, I, a, it was a big thinking process. It was like, a big thinking pop. Oh, huge. Because I bought my MacBook a year before, and I'm like, I'm going to create content. They didn't even know what the fuck content really was. <laughs> just posting videos at the just gym. About content, yeah, because yeah, everybody that was posting at the gym was just like, you know, paying your dues. And yeah, people yeah. caught on to it. I'm like, all right, there's something going on. Yeah. And then 
you know, my girlfriend, she bought she bought the camera, like, oh, here you go. And I'm like, all right. Now it's serious. It's vision, yeah. So I literally was going through my pictures today and I found out I found the one where I put all the names that it, it could have been. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna sit down tomorrow, I'll figure this out. And I'm like, all right, this name just sits. Created the YouTube. The YouTube was just like a green fucking logo with nothing on there, just a name. <laughs> I'm like, all right, first video went out. And my thing, I don't know how you felt when you started your first shirt, but my thing was now everybody's going to count me out. Definitely. Now now everybody's going to feel like, ah, oh, this is just. And to this day, ah. Yeah, oh, another like, person on the internet. To this day, we're like, ah, oh, the podcast, yeah. we're serious. Like, that's what it is. Yeah. Fool, I just, we're, it's bigger. Like, I don't, I don't, my thing is no, no offense to anybody. And I hope this helps out anybody in that in between area. Right. It's like, yo, you don't have to affect the people next to you. Oh, you got to yeah. affect the people that don't even know you. It's crazy. I always tell everybody this around me. Like, your biggest supporters are the people you do not know. Facts. Yeah, it's, it's, facts. it's super crazy because, like, you would think, like, all right, all these, like, say, for instance, you have, like, 500 followers. Like, I know, I know like, 100 of these people. They're, they're going to support me. Yeah. Nah, dude. It's, it's actually that one random person's friend's friend that's going to support you. Yeah. It's never going to be, like you know, family, it's it's really, like, those are the people doubting you, honestly. You know, your closest um, people. One, one thing, like, um, shout out my mom, bro, and my dad, obviously, because of my dad, I'm able, this, this episode is sponsored by JVL, JLV yeah. Pest Control, you know, I'm shouting out my yeah. dad, that's where I work, um, but... Oh, <laughs> are you just gonna say it? Damn, dude! Are you gonna toast to that, or are you gonna this say it? This was on one, this was on one, all right, all right. <laughs> You know, if you, people yeah, don't, be, people, if people oh, don't know, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. If people don't know this, that's where I kill bugs for a living, bro. But it's paid my bills. It's paid my house. Uh, and I still got over here. But a toast to JLV Pest Control. Shout out my pops. Shout out my parents. I got you. You, you got to ask for a summer. I got you. <laughs> Do you have a bug on your wall? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Did you hear something in your attic? I could get there. <laughs> Dude, but, hey, we should make a commercial about that. <laughs> but, but literally, and my mom's like, ah, like, dude, honestly, we're at what, 20? 27. All right. I guess we're going to have to do a part three, dude. It's all right. So um, we're going to part three? Uh, two minutes. I got this. So literally, they were like, oh, well, because you're doing this, like, ah, this, this, this. I'm like, mom, listen, it's bigger than me. There's people that are watching this now. We're a whole year after people we're making some noise. Yo, imagine in another year what we can possibly do. I won't know until I get there. Yep. So what am I gonna do? Push. Get there. So that's what, what I told you guys earlier, what we just applied for. Yo, it's huge. Now it's like, it's, like yeah. it's legit. It's it's not everything's on like, me. It's not just like a little indeed thing. Exactly. You know? Nah, you this gotta, is you this, actually gotta go in there. It, my biggest thing is if I'm going to start something, I got to go full force. 100%. Everything else before that I started and everybody saw what I was posting on IG and it was just like dog toys and cameras and it was it got me by. Fire, huh? Fire. 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 <laughs> First time getting it was fire. It got me by, but this what we're doing, it's the movement and this is what you know, this is what we're meant to be at the right time. Maybe not before, maybe we didn't see this shit before. But, yo, we're meant to be where we're meant to be. We're yeah. supposed to be in that place because we were meant to be here. God's plan. God's plan. Play God's Drake. Plan, Let's go. God's plan. Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you tune in this long, it's not that It's not that long. If you have any earphones, if you're watching it on YouTube, see the reactions. You got to subscribe to the channel. You got to go follow Pure Games right now. Yeah. Stop what you're doing. You got to go follow the movements. But... Now, on a triste as no, trying to close it because it is what it is. Uh, and it ain't what it ain't. Oh. <laughs> you might, whoa, you gotta, hey, you I got it. I, you gotta drink to that. I, I got think it. you saw from Obio, bro. I'm gonna oh, drink. I think you saw from Drake. I'm gonna drink what? Bang. It bang, I appreciate you coming out with some good bomb, bomb flavors. I hope you see my email. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You'll probably see it if we all drink it. <laughs> hey, I hope it fills your resume, but. You know, if it is, it, yeah, if it is, it is. You got to get the Bang Energy uh, mixed drinks. This is actually really oh. good. Oh, no, 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 no. Cheeks, but. Cheeks. Cheeks, cheeks. but don't, I mean. If you but shout out part, Bang. But shout, shout out Bang. Shout out Bang. You didn't see that part right now. You didn't see that part with my boy. But 
you know, I appreciate you guys coming, coming, you know, a couple of minutes out of our hometown. It's not that far, thankfully. Yeah, no, no. no but worries. taking your time out of the day, taking your time on on this type of day to really come and share your story, share your thoughts, your views. Um, what is leave, leave us jaw drop, bro? But what is one thing you would tell tell the public about you or about life? Give us a life type of quote. Come on, one thing. I know. I, one, yeah, yeah, I yeah, know man. you're. I know you know. Like you're, you have a lot of knowledge it's sitting closed. in. Yeah, you have a lot of knowledge sitting in back in that head. You know what you it just, is? Here's another shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just this playing. I'm just playing. Saludos well, from I'm Houston. Just Houston, <laughs> shout out Houston. Houston's in the house. Yeah. yeah. What? Go. Give it. Close us out, big guy. What, right, what, so what's a what's a phrase? What what would you tell the the young viewers looking at you? Young viewers, young viewers, old viewers, old whoever's viewers. watching you right now. You got dreams, chase them. You know, gotta have faith. Keep you up with yourself. Wait, do it again, but spin into the mic. All right. <laughs> to all the young viewers, you know, chase that dream. Like you know, there's no dream like small enough. Keep up with yourself. Invest in yourself. I've mentioned that again. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, the working life. But if you can create a lifestyle you want, chase it. And, you know, don't be worried about struggling for a few years if you know that that outcome will be worth it. Golly. Golly. <laughs> Golly. 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 My boy, come on. Your turn. Hey, you're savvy. My, if you're, boy, savvy. Speaking. you're savvy, bro. You, you know. <laughs> Put it this way. Put this word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that like a baby Rick Ross? <laughs> Another one. <laughs> bro, that's not him, bro. That's not him, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It is, bro. It's not it him, bro. So, just put it this way. Northside North Acres home Houston. <laughs> Give some fucking solid advice. Solid, solid advice for the people watching you. Whoever your viewers are are watching you right now, what would you tell them? Why retire at sixty when you could retire at thirty five? Or why retire at thirty or thirty? Why? Why not live your best life on your thirties when you're young? Why and li versus why live your best life when you're sixty when you're old? Why not? Golly, 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 golly. <laughs> Yo, honestly. And, and why? And this, what's holding you back? Th this is this is exactly why I love the fucking podcast and the caption and the um whatever I wrote for tomorrow's episode is is that it's crazy the process that we've been through the movement that we're doing but it's so re like reinforcing and satisfying when I get to do this and shine light on the people really doing it from our own hometown. Everybody that we got to met, bro, amazing. All our guests, everybody, and the ones that are yet to be on here. But when they're coming from our own hometown, and these are these are people that it is different. It is different, it is bro. Different, this is bro. huge. It is like, different. You know, people are gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, "Oh, dude, you were on this person's podcast." Yep. Dude, you guys did a podcast. That's so wild. It's like, yo, we were meant to be here. Yeah. Like whether, you, listen, think about this. Whether people like it or not, we were supposed to be. And meant to be in this position we are now. Yeah. We're meant to have a brand. We're meant to have a movement. We're meant to be those people that people may not like, but people love. We're exactly. meant to be here five years later when you're fucking looking at my younger years versus where we're at right now. Yeah. So for the people, honestly. When's you know, the last time we kept in touch? Never. Never. <laughs> never. The After high school, talked? none. Right now. I right now. know you, bro. Like, I've I seen you around, you know. You're wrong. <laughs> You're hard not to spot, you know. You're hard not to spot, but you know, I've never, you know, I've never talked to you. Yeah, Yo, I think this is this is the first time me and you have really talked outside yeah. of me and you at Hidden Strength. This is the first time me and him have actually talked outside of coaching. Straight and up, I, I straight up like when we when you were my coach, I straight up didn't. You, you, I thought that you didn't like me. Along with your other, along with your other, along yeah, with your other yeah. coaches, and you, you it could be, be true. I don't like a lot of people. Yeah. I think. I think the big transition, the big, the biggest transition I have done is really not feeling sorry for whatever you're going through. Really. So my, my thing when I'm coaching now is like, yo, all right, tell me your issue. What's going on, bro? Especially because I have girls and that I'm coaching. What's going on? How can you not be the victim? 
And there's people that walk in and as when you're young and when you're walking around when your shit don't say, bro, later on that shit gonna bite you in the ass. And the crazy thing about the podcast is now we can have a conversation that we we would have never had outside of this. Yeah, Ever. that w- that we would have never had a couple years ago. You know, now we, we get to have this. Yeah, we could have probably been like 10, 15 years down the line. We would probably wouldn't even fucking talk. Yeah. Now with the whole movement, with the whole podcast, my thing is the value. All right, bro, let me get to know you. Who who are you really at outside of this? Who are you without anybody around you? Yep. You are this person. And I'm glad and everybody that stayed to watch this and listen to this, we'll see you guys slightly differently. And I hope they feel inspired and motivated hearing you guys talk, hearing you guys go through what you guys went through, who you guys were, how you guys see things. They're going to be like, damn, bro, they move different. They are different. They are yeah. different. They are different. We different, are fucking different. different. Breed, fucking different. You know, different, different breed. That's another, little, little that's, another one. that's another one. That's another one. That's another one. Don't play me all this one. Don't play me all this one. Don't put this fool on your fucking hey, podcast because hey, he's hey, going to say it. Take Uber, fuck this is going to say everything else. He's going to like, shot, shot, shot. My boy just like. <laughs> my boy, boy, different. Every time I go out with him, I come out like not walking. So. Bro, just clear the whole bottle, dude. Fuck it. I'll buy you another one. <laughs> buy you another one, bro. <laughs> all right. But, again, for all the, everybody that's tuned in all this way, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, you guys subscribe. like and share the movement that's yep. created, not just to us, but to Pure Games, these, these dudes right here that are creating something bigger than what we ever imagined. So, with that, appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate you guys appreciate for coming and checking on here. You know? And let's go. Toast to life, baby. Let's get it.